high because it is prime. July deer season is the best. I said, Buck, it's the best. We're going to get on camo on. We're going to get out of closets. We're going to be all primed up to go do some good deer hunting. Uh, look around. Oh, oh, oh. All the conditions, they look prime. Oh, boy, they look prime, Buck. They look prime, 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 prime. Let's get some mud on the face. We're going to do some camouflage with the mud from the land, from the pond. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, WD-40. You can't deny the WD-40 on the armpits and the legs. Oh, yeah. And they are going to be coming in. But they're going to smell all the food block. We're going to get food block that way. Our food block, we're going to use some diesel today. The corn don't work, so we use diesel. Diesel mud, W40. We're going to get them all primed up. They're going to come in. Let's get that diesel fuel. Come on. Diesel. Do the diesel. They like the off-road brand. There we go. We're going to spread this stuff around. I'll tell you what. We spread it around. They're going to come up quicker. They're going to come to the woods, and they're going to see that diesel. And they're going to smell it, and they're going to want to come eat. And we're going to be sitting in the shack ready. Let's go get in the shack now. Come on. Let's go get in the shack. I forgot about the sniff stick. We gotta get the sniff stick up here. Wind conditions will be a problem for that Wednesday. Here we go. Let's get in the shack. We, we're ready to go now. Oh, I don't see nothing yet. Uh, I see a damn squirrel. What is a squirrel? I don't see a squirrel. Let's check Facebook. No service. Dang on it. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh, I think I heard something. You hear that? Oh, we got our first deer. Our first deer is coming in on the right hand side. It's coming due. It's coming west. It's coming. It's coming right in. Ah, take a shot. No, don't take shot. Take shot. Don't take shot. Oh, that's wait. Let's see what we're gonna do. Oh, that's that's a that's a that's a beauty. That is good. That's a good looking deer right there. But I think I think we're gonna wait and see what else we got coming in. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh! We got a big deer. That's a bigger deer I've ever seen in my whole life. Look at this thing. He's coming in. He gonna come in. He got that diesel. He see that other deer. He gonna come in. He gonna get in there. He, he gonna, any, any, any big ones, they go around. They don't just do too. This small. This smaller than that one. This one is smaller. He, he said he's gonna stay back with this deer. He, he, gonna, he gonna make sure that first deer is okay. He gonna go around it. Here we come. Here we come. He's beauty. I had a bigger than about a machine. I had a bigger than about a deer I ever seen in my whole life. Love it. I love it. Love it. Take a shot. Oh, we ain't gonna shoot that. That's a better beauty. I think he's mating. He trying to get over in that thing. He gonna make that other deal. No, oh, it's been the best deer hunting adventure in July ever, ever. Man, hi guys. How about that introduction to this video? We had a lot of fun doing that. Thanks for watching so far. If you like what you see today, hit that subscribe button, uh, pound the like button. It's awesome to have you all with us today. I'm Jeremy. We're here at Cairn Creek in Southern Ohio. This is a piece of property we recently purchased. 140 acres of paradise for us. We're loving it. Doing these videos and working on the farm here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the John Deere skid loader you see behind me. So what we have, we've had skid loaders for 20 some years now, but it's time to upgrade. It's time to get a new one. The local guys at John Deere, uh, we got together and we talked about it and uh, I think we should get this in a video. We both agreed. So here we are trying to make a decision whether we're going to purchase this or not. So we've got it on the farm. We're going to use it for a week or so. Uh, see what we think about the machine. See if it's uh, worth the upgrade and worth the cost. So in today's video, we're going to go through it together. Uh, throw the drone in there, get some action, and let's see what we think of this bad boy. Come on. First of all, let's clear a few things up. I am definitely partial to John Deere when it comes to skid loaders. We have John Deere skid loaders. We've always had John Deere skid loaders. We love them the best. Uh, very big fan of Kubota's also. More so on the Traco side, mower side, uh, tractor side. So this John Deere, um, I can only compare it to the, the previous John Deere's I've had. I have brand new Hollands, Cases, and Bobcat brand. I've always loved the deer. So this 333G is a new machine, um, about as state of the art as the skid loaders. Actually, I say skid loader. We should be actually calling them compact track loaders. That's their technical name. The first thing that I noticed on this compact track loader is the easeability of operating it with the joystick controls, the comfort of the seat, the climate control cab. Very, very nice. It's got the radio, the backup camera, so you can see behind you. Uh, very neat, compartmentalized interior. Our skid loaders have always been open cab machines, so for me to be able to get inside this enclosed cab it feels great. Uh, right now it's pretty hot out, so we've got the AC cranking and we're moving dust, uh, you know, dirt. That dust stays out. We can stay in a climate controlled environment 
and I think when you're in a, when, a, when you're in a machine of any type of machine when you're in it for several hours you need to stay comfortable the more comfortable you can maintain yourself the more efficient you're going to operate that machine Boy, oh boy, I can get used to running this machine. That is for daggone sure. This thing is comfortable and it's got the power. I could take that bucket, dive right in the ground and get a full scoop. Not many skiddlers can do that. The power is awesome, but also with that power, I think it's one of the downfalls is anything over 75 horsepower on machinery, the government's gonna mandate that machine to have the DEF fluid. So obviously that's something else you gotta maintain, something else you gotta worry about filling up. So that's, uh, that's just the way it's going to be, I think, forever. I'm afraid uh, it's going to be that way forever, boys. One of the leading forces on testing this machine out is our day-to-day -day operations. We use a skid loader quite a bit, and efficiency is everything. The maintenance cost of an ore machine is higher. The breakdown times can sometimes really put us in a hurt on our jobs. So I think it's really important to have a dependable machine that we can efficiently get out and complete our work during the week so we can get out here to Cairn Creek and play. Cost of this machine, you might ask? I don't even know yet. I didn't talk to the dealer about how much it costs. So we're gonna try it out. We'll talk turkey later in the week with the dealer. But from what I do think, I think they're around 75 to 80,000 for all the bells and whistles. Oh, I almost forgot, guys. We've got to pick a drawing winner from the last episode of Cairn Creek. We'll do that here at the end, so stick around. Over the next couple months on our Cairn Creek videos, we'll continue to update you on whether it be this machine or a comparable machine that we get. On today's Cairn Creek Machineology, I've got this for you. Skid loaders. Obviously, not everybody needs a brand new skid loader. Maybe you just got a weekend project. You can go down to the rental store and rent one for the weekend to get your job done. Now, for us, we use them quite a bit. So I think it's very feasible for us to look at buying new or fairly new. We love the John Deere's. As you can see here, we have three generations of John Deere skid loaders or compact track loaders. When it comes to any equipment, equipment costs money to own and operate, but it's handy. Obviously, we're lucky to have what we have and we'll continue to improve and work on the things that we can do with them. As for now, stick around guys at the end. We're gonna have the giveaway from last week's drawing for that $100 gift card. Until then guys, Thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Karen Creek, over and out. All right, let's take a uh, short break here from the skid loader activity. Last video, we picked, or we said we'd pick a, a drawing, had our gift card, and we are on a site now. We have the video loaded. We are gonna pick a random comment. Congratulations to Timothy Myers. Love the property. So Timothy, shoot us an email, and let's do one more in case we don't hear from Timothy. Ignition eight would be our second, and let's do one more. And third place, that Dusty Countryman. All right, so let's hear, uh, we'll have the email to our email address in the comments down below in the description probably. So just go there, send us an email, and we'll get you fixed up. Timothy. Cruzy, tell us what happened to your arm. I fell off my horse. Hmm. Well, tell them what happened. I killed my um, helmet on the ring, and I went down beside him. Oh, my God.